Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome and today we can take a walk around and a drive off this uh, S registration, so either 1977 or 78, uh, MG Midget, um, obviously two-seat convertible. Hope you like the videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of engine running action as well at the end, and uh, hope they give you the right impression that you need of the vehicle. There we have it. Okay, let's take a look around this uh, S registration, so either be 1977 or 78, um, MG Midget, and I'm guessing from the age it's a Midget 1500, <coughs> or possibly a Mark IV, um, but I'll, uh, I'll confirm that in the, uh, in the description. Uh, finished in maroon, we're told it was restored in 2018, including engine rebuild. Certainly drives nicely and looks very smart as well. Um, Spec-wise, completely standard specification, as far as I can see, Ross-style wheels with um, a decent set of matching tyres on it. They look fairly new. Probably done in 2018 as well. The hood looks relatively new. It's very nicely detailed under bonnet. Um, interior wise, the seats look pretty new as well. It just looks to be a really nice, nice example in my opinion. He says not to shut the door properly. <laughs> um, yeah, completely standard midget and, uh, and rather pleasant. So let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Can't see a lot of bad bits. All I will say is I think it was repainted in 2018. There is, you know, the paint is a bit orange peely in places, um, but it's nice and even. Let's say there is just some orange peel that you can see a little bit down the sides and what have you. But not a bad job. Um, all the panels all line up nicely. All looks nice around the front end. Can't really see a lot inside the arches. Give you an idea of what it's like around the around there. Paint's a little bit thin on the ins on that inner arch just there. Um, up here around the scuttle. All looks good, the screen is nice. We've got the hood up at the moment. Um, I've had the hood down to photograph it. Now one thing, these are on the inside. There's a couple of sort of um, sellotape marks on the inside of the hood, but it's not cracked or anything. I think it's just had a sticker on there or something. There and there. But they're an absolute nightmare to get off. Um, so we'll probably leave those on for the next owner to, to try without uh, damaging the, um, um, the plastic. A couple of little chips on the passenger door just there, just down there. And inside, the door card is all nice. See up there. Interior is really good. Um, seats look in excellent shape, dash is nice. Really very little I can criticise with this. We have got the hood bag, you can see it in the back there. I did the photos without the hood bag on, but uh, we have got it. Not bag as such, it just covers up the, uh, we call it a uh, tonneau cover, just covers up the hood when it's on. Looking at the seams on the rear wings. Boot lid, as I say, there is it is a little bit orange peely the paint on the boot lid. So the panel was done three years ago, and in the boot, it's looking pretty nice. Matching Ross style in there, again with a matching tyre as well. Need two hands to do that. That's it. That down again. Looking down the offside again, really straight and tidy down there. Can't really see a lot in there. Side doors all nice. Okay, a tiny bit of paint loss just there on the uh, A post. Looks nice. 
nice there. Offside front wing. Looks nice. And then we'll have a look inside. Driver's door is all nice. Showing, what's that, 90, is that 93,000 miles just over? So the engine was rebuilt apparently in 2018 though. But yeah, it's it's a nice little midget. I think we'll take it out for a run, see what we make of it on the road. There we have it. Right, quick video, start up and running on this uh, MG midget. Starting hot there, nicely starting. Well enough, the rev counter isn't working now. Let's see if it just needs a blip to make it work. It was working fine when I was driving. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah, rev counter's working now. Just needs a blip. Right, let's get out and have a look underneath the, <coughs> the bonnet. Beautifully detailed engine bay. The engine runs like a little sewing machine. Very nice. Looks like it's all been rewired. I think this is a really simple little car myself. So, I think there we have it really. Got it.